Hi, my name is Denim Simpkins. I'm with Driving Sales. I wanted to talk to you about a forum discussion that came up about menu presentation in your service drive with your service advisors. I wanted to point out the fact that one little step, one little tactic within that write-up process could end up resulting you $155,000 in additional parts and labor sales at the end of the year. So in a recent study provided uh, where they were measuring all the activities, they went out and surveyed 1,500 customers uh, that came in for service and they asked them about the activities during the write-up process. Only 32% of them mentioned that there was an additional maintenance recommendation made to them. So in this case, I'm talking about menu presentations, a customer that comes in um, and talking about the additional items that we would recommend due to the time and mileage on their vehicle, or the history on their vehicle. However, our sales department has done a traditionally a better job. It's just simply because they focused on it. They're achieving closer to an 80% off of that same study. And within that study, it indicated that there's an, potentially an increase of an additional three-tenths of hours per repair order uh, that can be gained by simply taking this one step of maybe 10 on your write-up process and focusing in on it. Christy mentioned that uh, anything less than 75% at their store was failure. Um, so they held a staff meeting, they really communicated, uh, talked to them about the importance or the necessity of going through this, and then started posting results and their team responded. They're all of a sudden back up there, uh, back to that point where they wanted them to get. Chris took more of a sales approach here when he weighed in, but it's something that we can apply on the service drive. And he says, you know what, we achieve 100% but it's because we've adapted our process to what the customer is um, going through at that point in time. So just hypothetically, let's, I'm gonna jump down to the store that writes a thousand customer pay repair orders. If they're only talking to 30% of their customers about a menu, they're only talking to about 300 customers. That leaves the opportunity of being 700 customers were missed. Now, if we were at an 80%, uh, menu talk with every single customer. There's an additional 500 customers that you would talk to just by simply going through that step of the process. Now, if we times that by our, our three tenths that we would stand to gain due to um, just talking about those menu items, and then at a, a reasonable $90 effective labor rate, most of us are a lot higher than that. Really, that is about $13,500 more of labor sales. Now we all know when we sell labor, there comes the parts number that is associated with that. So if I take just simply 90 cents on the dollar, that's an additional $12,000 in parts that are being sold as well. So in a month, that would be an additional $25,000 in parts and labor sales by simply going through that step. Now, not every single customer, once we go through that step, I'm, uh, are not going to purchase that additional menu or those items that we recommend on there. But let's just say half of them do. We're still going to net out $12,000, almost $13,000 at the end of the month in additional sales of parts and labor. So if we take that over a one-year period of time, that's an additional $154,000 carried on to the bottom line of your parts and labor statement. I would encourage you to come into our community at drivingsales.com forward slash fixed ops and, and weigh in and give me your thoughts in regards to menu presentation. And I'd like to hear some of the success that, I, that you guys are seeing out there as well by just taking one of maybe 10 steps on a, on a write-up process and focusing in on that one step and what it could impact in your bottom line. Thanks so much and have a great day. We're gonna talk about BDC versus sales teams. We know they should work together cohesively, and we also know that there's obstacles in place that prevent them from doing that. And the community- Now these are the perceptions that people start building. They start building perception of, what's my experience gonna be at the dealership? And something that we've seen through our research is that 99% of the customers that are